Hello! Matty coming at you with another Final Fantasy episode. Episode 4 today. Thank you for joining me and welcome to the video. And today we have Swiggin and Katie with us again. So today Swiggin is going to be going as a bard and Katie is going to be going as an astrologian. And astrologian being the class that I went in in the second video. And we've decided it's a globe. And I have decided to go as a Dark Knight. Dark Knight! I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that. Um, but no, Dark Knight um, being a tank. And today we have Halatelli. So, originally a holy place of the first Lalafal arrived in Eorzea. The twisting labyrinth of natural caverns which wind through this massive mesa was transformed by the Gladiator's Guild into a series of training pits, animal pens and holding cells to accommodate the ever-growing popularity of Uldor's Colosseum. After the calamity, however, the location was abandoned. Those remaining in the pens left for dead. Not all of them, however, met that fate, and now the tunnels are rife with those who survived, as well as the tormented spirits of those who did not. So here we have Dungeon 4, Episode 4. Let's get straight into it. So I'm just chucking up the new macro that I've created, just informing people that I am doing YouTube and if anybody doesn't want me, well doesn't want their name shared then they can tell me and I can remove it. But here we go, so I'm tanking, so as I've stated before a tank's job is to run in first, get all the aggro of all the enemies and then allow the DPS to get them down whilst not pulling too much to allow the healer to keep up. But if it's a healer that I know and a healer that I trust. Um, I will generally do bigger pulls, get it done quicker. Um, the DPS are attacking way too quickly, so they've managed to pull one of them off me, but they can they can deal with that, that'll be absolutely fine. But here we go, I've pulled probably about three mobs at the start. Just going to have a little stop here, um, just to ensure that Katie can keep up, because whilst Katie I know is a good healer, she doesn't heal that often. Um, so I didn't want to go like kind of go pulling all the way straight to the first boss, um, just in case. Although that would make good content viewing, just seeing us dying. Uh, one thing that I should make you aware as well is in the previous episode I said that uh, me, Katie and Swig had done three episodes back to back. I've actually made the decision to actually refilm the next episode. As I'll be honest, I was actually falling asleep through the dungeon. And I was playing Red Mage and I played so, so bad. Um, I was half asleep whilst doing it and I don't think it would make very good content at all. So I've decided to actually redo that one. So that one will be up, will be up in a few days. So the next dungeon will be Red Mage. And I do absolutely hate the next dungeon. Um, the time uh, is a thousand, oh, a thousand rows of Totem back or I can't remember what it's called now off the top of my head but yeah I hate that dungeon so much so so much I can't wait to get some of these earlier dungeons done out of the way so we can start getting into the some more interesting ones but here we are already at the first boss um, this first boss is a just a bit of a nuke um, I think Swiggin just wanted to just go off and kill some of the ads just to kind of sh start showing what it is that you're technically supposed to do so you've got these ads that kind of like all spawn around the outside and they all try and go to the middle and if they reach that middle fire, um, it will just send out like a fire AOE that hits everybody. Doesn't do a lot of damage, you can pretty much let them hit it and let the healer heal you through it. And most times you will just nuke this boss down as quick as possible. But yeah, I think Swig just wanted to show how to actually do it properly. But not a lot particularly going on with the Dark Knight to be honest at this point. I've got two buttons to do. Um, so hard slash and siphon strike. 
nothing to do at all and then I've got like kind of my AOE when I do run into the enemies but there you go first boss done already so nice and quick and then as you run through the second area going towards the second boss you've got like five chains that you need to touch um, so Swiggin said he was going to do them just as we ran past so each time by the chains I'm just going to have a quick stop um, just to ensure that no enemies come out of it because sometimes it's an enemy that comes out sometimes it drops a box completely random so just having a quick stop next to each chain just to make sure that no enemies come out and I miss them on the way through so there's chain 2 and then just carry on pulling again So I don't mind this dungeon too much. This one's uh, one of the better earlier ones, I think. I don't, I don't mind this dungeon. It can be quite fun, especially if you do actually decide to pull boss to boss. It can be quite tricky um, to pull boss to boss. You have to um, you rotate a lot of your cooldowns as a tank and the healer has to really be on it um, to make sure that you don't die because it can get um, a little bit close. But I'm just going back on myself a little bit because there's this chain down here. So again, just making sure I've got all the aggro of the enemies. Just spamming unleash. And that chain dropped a box, so nothing to stay for there. Just pass on the loop because I don't need that. That's it, come on Mr. Python. And just stop at this chain. And another box again. So we'll carry on down to this fifth and final chain. I do like tanking, I must admit. I, I don't profess to be a very good tank when it comes to like raiding and things like that, but um, in a dungeon I quite like tanking. It's nice just to control the pace of the dungeon. And here we are in the second boss already, so just over five minutes and into the second boss. So quite a boring second boss to be honest. Um, this boss, you literally just smack it and then he spawns some adds, turns the water electric, so you just have to get out of the electric water. So grab the aggro with the adds and then drag them over and the boss is currently invincible uh, whilst the floor is electric. So not really a lot you can do so just spam these ads down as quick as you can and carry on with the boss again so he does that twice so he brings up two sets of ads So as I stated in the first episode, you've got four different tanks in the game. So you've got Dark Knight, Paladin, Warrior and Gunbreaker. Um, obviously Dark Knight using the power of darkness and dark magic to gain aggro of adds. And then your Paladin is your sword and shield. Your Warrior uses a great big axe. And then the Gunbreaker who has a gun sword. I would personally say that Dark Knight is probably my favourite of the four. Um, I, I do I like kind of like the idea behind the Dark Knight, and I like using a great big two-handed sword. I really like the sword that I have on this Dark Knight as well, like kind of this glowing, glowing sword that I've got. But here we go, 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 there, tripping over me in words. So here we go, coming up to the final boss already. It's a nice, quick dungeon this one not much room between the second and third boss at all so just pull these couple of enemies and then just through that door there is the final boss so i'll grab these ads grab the bomb and then swiggin's going to open the door just while i keep the aggro with the enemies and run up into the final boss again another new person again so again we didn't realize that we had a new person with us but they've done really well as well. <laughs> so 
So here we go, final boss. So just over eight minutes into the dungeon. Nice quick dungeon this time. So again, another easy boss again. Not really too much to think about. Um, he puts this great big fire area around him and then there's a ad that spawns behind him, a fire sprite that has to be killed as quick as possible and then I think four fire sprites come and the quicker they get killed the quicker um, you can actually start attacking the boss again but I'm kind of just standing here spamming him out because I haven't really got much else to do. Uh, I could have gone and killed the ad but where's the fun in that? I mean, as a tank, a lot of the dungeons you will just kind of like stand there. You will like kind of have AoEs to dodge every now and then, but generally as a tank, what you want to try and do is keep the boss as still as possible. Because as you would have seen in the previous episode when I'm playing Monk, uh, Monk does have positionals, as does Dragoon, as does Samurai, as does Ninja. All the melee DPS do have positionals, so like kind of they'll have extra damage if they're attacking from behind or the side. And if you've got a tank that's spinning the boss around, it makes their job a lot more difficult so what you want to do as a tank is try and move as little as possible so you can actually just keep the bosses and enemies in one fixed position so that the other classes can do their jobs effectively and it also makes it easier for the healer as well because the healer doesn't need to be running around chasing you and trying to heal you because the healer is healing the tank most of all because in theory the tank should be the only one taking damage Mm, swig loose using his limit break and there we go dungeon done already nice and quick so just thanking everybody I'll make sure I'll give a com to the other board as well did I remember to give a com or not I can't actually remember I'll just pass on all the loot first because I don't need any of that we're passing all that. And yeah, I gave the other bar to com. So there we go. That is episode four done already. So cracking on through this series quite nicely. So thank you ever so much, everybody, for joining me. Thank you again to Swig and Katie for coming and helping and joining in these two videos. Um, as I just said, I am going to refilm the next episode purely because um, you don't want to see me kind of like half falling asleep through a dungeon so i'll probably well refilm the next episode as a red mage but i will see you in a couple of days for the fifth dungeon which i absolutely hate and i'm dreading thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe stay safe take care goodbye